Hello everybody and welcome to Andrew Broussard Watercolors. Uh, today is another ink video. This is looking at a rice plant again. However, this time it's going to be layered and we're going to dry between each stage so that we're not getting a wet and wet effect. So with that being said, uh, this is Bockingford tinted paper. Um, I'll be pausing the, the video to do the dry off between each um, stage. Uh, the paper might curl a little bit between each stage, so I might have to kind of finagle it. Uh, so just bear with me on that. So we're gonna start off with uh, the bamboo brush using Chinese ink, going light with it. And I'm going to create my distant rice plants. And for these, I've just been coming up, kind of hooking over and out and just uh, getting that motion with them and dotting the distant rice in. We can do some out here too. We can even do a little bit coming out back here. I haven't really experimented uh, too much with all over the place with the rice yet, but we're just playing around. We'll be able to get a second one in at this depth um, where we won't have that wet and wet uh, affecting it. I'm not gonna overlap them. So we'll get the second one here. Let that come up and over. And let this come out. We can even do a little bit on the ground. Now I'm gonna pause it, I'm gonna do a quick dry off. That should be enough. You can see how the paper curled some, so I'm gonna keep my hand on the paper. I'm now gonna do my next layer of rice. This is gonna have a little bit more ink in it, so it should be a little bit darker, and we create the idea of depth. Come up. Ooh, we're getting pretty dark already. And I'm just coming up and hooking out with it. Create the rice here, create some coming up, and using that tonal value, the darker versus that lighter, we get a sense of depth taking place. I'm going to create another one here before we do another dry off. Now resources that might help you out, of course you're welcome to follow along with anything I do, anything that you... Um, do from any of my videos, you're more than welcome to sign your own name to it and um, sell it if you'd like. I want you guys to be successful and have money for art supplies. Uh, that being said, I'd love for you to consider supporting me on Patreon um, and just liking and subscribing this channel. I do have some exclusive content on there for uh, subscribers. Okay, the next one, we're going to pause and we should be dry enough. Now, as I was saying, resources, you can look into, um, just go into Google and type in uh, two different things. Um, rice plants, and then rice plant drawings. Look at those two separate ideas. And you'll be able to get a feel for the motion of the rice, that hooking motion and the grains that come up and out. And you'll see more artistic forms, um, more gestural movements, and I think that would be all you really need. Down here in Louisiana, we have um, a lot of rice fields. Um, they alternate between crawfish and rice in the fields. I believe that uh, when the crawfish grow, they eat the roots and the remaining bits of that rice that's down there. I believe the scientific term is crop rotation. Is that what they teach in school, crop rotation? Okay, let's dry this off and we'll do one more layer. 
So by going darker tonally and creating a larger uh, foreground object you know, as we come forward in the picture plane, we are essentially creating depth. So this is going to be pretty much straight ink. So, if you decide to try this out, which I encourage you to do so, it's a good um, experiment and exercise in uh, depth. Um, you can try it out with watercolor. In fact, down the line I'll do one in watercolor. And I'll try to use Western uh, brushes. So you'd have more um, you know, variety of tools just in case you don't have these. And we'll pause it and we'll dry it and we'll see how it looks underneath the mat. And here we go with the mat. Uh, and that should be it. If you have any questions, comments, anything you'd like to um, let me know or let me uh, cover or something that's not clear, just let me know down below. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope to see you all soon. If you ever follow along with anything, I'd love to see your results. Hit me up on social media if you do. You all take care.